Hello everybody, it's Gaming on Linux Guide. So, today we're going to look at how to run Wargroove. The reason I'm showing off this game is because, first of all, it's fun. It's like Advanced Wars, which some of you and I myself have played when I was a wee lad. And also, Wargroove was in the Humble Choice Bundle, slash Humble, formerly Humble Monthly. So, you might have already owned, you might already own it. So, it does have a Linux version, but if you just click play, it's borked. And yes, that does sound weird, but it is actually an official like Linux term on like ProtonDB. Borked means doesn't work. So to get this running, we have to go to properties. We have to force the use of a Proton layer so it will download our Windows version and then you have to wait for it to download which considering I usually have about oh, 15 megabytes per second oh there we go I was going to say it's pretty slow alright then next you're going to go to properties and you're going to do hyphen hyphen skip hyphen intro because for some reason the intro video crashes the game so once you're all done doing that you can just click the play button and it'll be all like hey you're not on you're trying to play a windows game on linux it's like yes i want to do that so then it will, of course, like usual with most Proton games, it will sit there and say, preparing to launch as it does its machinations behind the scenes of getting the config ready and the little wine layer that we are using. And then it's going to, as you can see, install the redistributable packages that we need for this particular game. And then it will start up. After a moment, of course. It uh, it always takes a moment for the game to start up. Oh, wrong screen, but you can probably hear it. So let me just switch screens. Because I have to make the Steam one my primary. And I'm just going to click play. And this time it'll show up on this screen. But like I said, you can hear it, so you probably know that it was running. So, like I said, Wargroove, very similar to... Did I click play? I guess I forgot to click play. So, Wargroove is very much like Advance Wars, the original. There are multiple cities... But in this game, they're towns. And, uh, and they can be captured for income. And then you can also produce units like out of barracks. Alright, so I'm going to click story. And I have played a little bit of it. I don't know if it'll remember that in a, like a cloud save. No, it doesn't look like it. One rainy night at Cherry Stone Castle. This winner's me. Give me the spokes. Did you hear that? Get it out. It's just thunder. But I'm uh, going to patrol the throne room. Hey, wait for me. So they also have these really interesting cutscenes using the like battle screen for the video for the game. Cowards jumping at shadows and dropping their guard cat people oh cat people getting to the king should be much of a challenge there he is all alone in his chambers how convenient the fewer guards I dispatch the quicker this sh shall be oh I think she's a bat person but some unfortunate wretches still stand in my way I'll start by defeating the one over there. Alright, so left click. Tech. Showed me how much damage I was going to do. 
I definitely think a bat person. Just from the nose. It's time my daughter learned the truth. But how do I tell her? I just realized most kings don't have glasses. I guess because in medieval times, you know, when that's the setting, uh, you know, glasses are not invented yet, but this one has glasses. I'll make my way towards the king's chambers. Alright, so as you can see, just like Advanced Wars, you can move your unit so many tiles, and then they either attack or don't move at all. Masaya. A long time ago, before Cherry Stone was Cherry Stone. Hmm, no. Back. Yeah, see, so look, bat. Those ears are not uh, feline. Those are big old bat ears for echolocation. This is laughably easy. Alrighty. And now when you attack right there... So you can see you get this little battle screen just like Advanced Wars as well. It was a big inspiration according to the developers. There was once a kingdom called Cacophony and a war known as the Great Dissonance. Alrighty, going to move up here. And I'm just going to keep waiting because this is more of a story mission than anything else. This knowledge is too great a burden, O oh, Messiah. Mm. This castle is vast. If I access the overview screen, I can get a glimpse of its true extent. I just need to select an unoccupied tile and pick overview. It's always kind of odd to me whenever... They, like, break the fourth wall with controller inputs. This screen provides me with objectives and statistics. <laughs> so many humans, how unpleasant. Still, I can avoid most of them. As my objective says, I'm here for the king. I can close this now and return to my task. Time to defeat a few more hapless guards and make my way to the king's chamber. Alright, so we're gonna go murder a man. A single man. Usually they're a lot stronger, but of course this is a story section, so it's gonna be super duper simple. Well, I hope that this video. Oh, he... there was actually some. Voice acting there. Well, that's cool. Well, that's been how to run Wargroove on Linux. I hope you've enjoyed it. And please subscribe as it helps to grow the channel and help other people who are trying to run games on Linux. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And as I said, if it has, subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day.